Hey everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. Hey, so today I'm actually coming out, one, sporting some new gear here. So uh, yeah, when I was out at uh, the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge, I met so many awesome vendors, so many awesome friends that I had made online over the last couple years. So I was able to meet up with the crew from Air Gun Depot coming out with some new logos i love it so yeah if you're in need of some uh, air gunning t-shirts our mac is definitely the place to go i think i walked away with like 20 different t-shirts from a bunch of different vendors so absolutely awesome event so today actually i actually wanted to do a little bit of a video to clear up some confusion um a lot of you guys are seeing me doing a lot of these long range shooting and so yeah my youtube channel i had somebody send me a private message saying yeah I'd be able to hit all those shots too if I had thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Yeah, air gunning, you know, it can be an expensive sport. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, I got my Air Force Texan from airgundepot.com, but uh, you know, I, I love great gear and a lot of this gear is helping me do the things that I do. But some of the things that I do, you don't need to have the very best gear in the world. You know, a lot of the things that I'm doing with my Air Force Texan, you know, I've had people say, well, yeah, you know, your Air Force Texan is completely modified and tweaked and, well, you know what? I'm gonna prove a point today. The Air Force Texan is an amazing, piece of engineering right out of the box. And to prove that point today, I'm actually gonna do the Long Ranger Challenge 150 yards with the Air Force Texan 257 bone stock. And when I mean bone stock, I mean even less than bone stock. So I was in the process of actually installing my rifle into a Mad Dog custom rifle stock. So some of his uh, long range shooting stock platforms, which are, which are absolutely awesome. I'd love doing that to all my Texans. But yeah, to prove a point, you know what? I stopped right in the middle of that, right after I took off the front handguard. And you know, I said, you know what? I'm gonna take this out one more time, check some accuracy and prove to you guys the point that these guns, if you tune them right and you know what you're doing with your power wheel and your pressure settings, you can tune these things to be pretty good shooters right out of the box without any extra equipment. Furthermore, you guys know I love shooting off the Atlas bipods. Those are amazing platforms to shoot off, but to prove this point, I'm literally gonna shoot off a folded blanket. So the only modification that I did do to this one is shooting it with the Donnie FL. So even though I am in a big field, it's a big radio tower field, I got permission to shoot. Um, there are neighbors actually on the other side and this Air Force Texan these things can be pretty damn loud going off So uh, just to bring down the decibels and to keep the neighbors happy. So I am going to be using the Donnie FL suppressor um, But other than that bone stock, I haven't touched the valve. I haven't touched the barrel I haven't as a matter of fact, it has doesn't even have the front handguard on it I'm not putting a custom stock on it. I'm not even using a bipod. We're gonna use a folded up blanket 150 yards golf ball and I'm gonna do this in five shots or less, just to prove this point and see what we can do. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. We've got the uh, 24 inch AR400, 316 inch steel, 24 inch plate. A little black there for contrast. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. Air Force Texan 257, bone stock, shooting off of a blanket. Here we go. Air Gunners, 150 yards, Air Gun Depot, Long Ranger Golf Ball in three shots. Bone stock Air Force Texans shooting off of a freaking blanket, baby. Okay, let's go take a walk. Let me show you what I did. Here we go.
<laughs> all right there it is all right so check it out this is how that shot went down so on this one i wasn't using my cold shot elevated base so i was actually using the uh the reticle mill dots um holding three mill dots um velocity is uh, 1050 shooting the 85 grain uh, spitzer slugs that i cast so put that third reticle mill dot dead center on the ball came left just a little bit second shot held right about here came a little bit high into the right and that last one i basically held right on the right edge of the ball bingo baby all right guys so there it is 150 yards air gun depot long ranger challenge if i can do that with a completely stripped down rifle like that so can you if you want to get into big bore air gunning check out airgundepot.com Go to their section on the Air Force Texans. Pick one up today. I'll tell you what, it is what got me into air gunning. I absolutely love it. Love it. So anyway, I hope that clears the air a little bit. Yeah, you know, I definitely like shooting with some very high end and modded and tweaked and tuned gear. Uh, I mean, it can make that even better. Um, but I mean, that's that's baseline. That, that right there is out of the box. You go to airgundepot.com, order yours today. In a few days, you're going to get it in a box and it's going to do that. All right, cool. So I backed it up to uh, 200 yards and just kind of plinked away at the steel for a bit. Pretty decent, holding uh, decent groups, shooting off of a blanket. <laughs> so anyway, before we wrap it up, I actually just wanted to show you something real quick. Uh, shooting steel um, for me is I, I definitely, I was burning through so many paper targets that I, it was time for me to invest in some steel. So these are great. What I love about this There you go, baby. Brand new target. <laughs> but anyway, hope this clears the air. Thanks everybody for joining me.